That's when he, of course, started screaming and that. We were blank, blank, whatever. And then, the, you know, the place needed burning down. He was absolutely fuming. He did say on the telephone, I'm going to come up there and smash her face with a baseball bat. You were stopped in the streets and people will shout, I can't get an appointment with you lot. And it's not nice, it's, um, you know, you feel like you cover your shirt, your uniform up because you don't want them to know where you work at times. He started getting a bit agitated and a bit aggressive. Starts banging on the glass. So she rang the police and she did say to the police, I feel threatened for my life. The local Facebook page, people regularly put on their vile things about us. They name us. This can go on for days and days. When someone actually says, if I die, it will be your fault, even though, realistically, you know it won't be your fault, you still take that on board. A chap was in reception, becoming increasingly rude. He started to raise his voice, he was swearing at her. Another patient who was in the area at the time actually tried to intervene and the rude patient just slashed out and hit him, punched him. There was a child involved because the, the nice patient was holding a child in his arms as well. As a result, the, the lady who was initially being spoken to she had to go on sick leave for a few days and since then she's actually decided to, to give her job up. It makes you feel scared because somebody's banging on and shouting at you so you don't know what they're capable of. People assume that because restrictions have eased that everything in the practice should ease yeah. and go back to normal. Yeah. So therefore they feel we're holding things from them. But it doesn't work like that and that's when the mm. oh you're useless. You're useless and it's your fault I can't get an appointment. Mm. But we're just following protocol. They don't believe you. The patient um, took herself off into a little room we've got, stood on the table, set the fire alarm off to get the person she wanted to speak to to come downstairs, so we had to involve the police. He got really angry and he asked, why are you telling her my details? And then got quite um, aggressive. But then he went outside and was standing by my car and I was just about to leave the building, so it filled me with apprehension to think that I have to now go to my car, get in and drive out while he's angrily standing by my car. 